So you got your new follow focus system, but you don't have a better idea where to start. Welcome back, I am Mauro and today I will teach you on how to use your follow focus system, how to set it up and how to nail every time a perfect focus. You can use your follow focus system on a vast range of cameras and lenses. I mostly use my Sony a7 III and Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K camera with a custom built rig on my Moza Air 2. If you want to lighten up your Moza Air 2 and Moza Air Cross 2, there is a new follow focus system called iFocus M. It's only 88 grams and it has the same power of the bigger one. Let's go for the first step. The first step is to attach the lens gear tightly to your lens, to avoid the lens ring, to skip out the focus ring of your lens. Depending on your lens size, you will need to use some adapters like this displacement plate and the eye focus rod support. Your full focus gear must join a perfect fit with your lens ring. So when you are rotating the focus knob, you will avoid skipping gears. The iFocus M can be controlled via the knob or also wirelessly with the iFocus control system. In this case, I will use the cable for the follow focus wheel on the Moza Air 2. Once you powered on the gimbal, you will get the sign that the follow focus is connected. To avoid infinite rotation for your follow focus, I would always advise to set your in and out points. You don't want your gears to hit the gear join point. Entering the gimbal settings menu, under the advanced option, you will have the eye focus set. Move the set point to A. Rotate the wheel on your desired starting point. Press OK to confirm. Move the set point to B. Rotate the wheel to your desired ending point. Press OK to confirm. There you go, your starting and ending point is set. For follow focus movements, I would always advise to use a bigger external monitor for nailing the perfect focus. One of the best tips is to use the picking settings of your camera just like my Sony a7 III or the Blackmagic built-in picking feature on the 5-inch screen. Or use an external monitor with the picking settings on. The red dots or any other color that you selected for your picking will show you what's in focus so we'll have an easier time to pull focus on your desired subject. A crazy way is to use your follow focus system is to change from an A action to the subject of interest. Focus pulling from a slider shot, from a close distance product shot to a distant moving subject. From a closer to distant object scene. Sliding in or out, keeping the focus on the object of interest can make the close up shot stand out. Remember, focus picking is a must for smaller screen just like my Sony a7 III 3-inch built-in screen or a smaller outside screen just like this Freewell monitor. If you use some bigger ones, well, maybe you don't need focus picking, but it will be really useful. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one. There will be a big Slypod review soon. Stay tuned. <laughs>